Hello, this is Wendy Lee from Pop of God Yahweh's Prophetic Ministry, and I do apologize. I have trouble with my camera whenever I'm whenever I download uh, video editors. It somehow traps my camera, and so whenever I come on live, unbeknownst to me, my camera doesn't work. So at 745 I was going on live here my camera wasn't working I had to completely get off and go delete or uninstall the other video editors to release my camera so I can have my camera for this live video it's crazy I know glory to God I was praying the whole time Lord please show me what to do Lord, please let this work. And so he brought to mind, go delete the, the other programs. So hallelujah, we serve a mighty, magnificent, glorious, amazing, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent God. And he is mighty and he is the God of possibilities. When man says it's impossible, God says, it is possible with me. Hallelujah. So I would like to go into prayer. Hi, Priscilla. Hi, everyone who's here. And I'd like to go into prayer and worship and praise our mighty God. Because when we put our faith completely into him, he just takes control over the helm of our life. And there's no telling where he's going to lead you. But he'll always lead you into his perfect will. As you allow him. Hallelujah. Father God, Yahweh, Elohim, Adonai, we bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Glory be to your mighty and glorious name. You are the one whose train fills the temple. You are the one who dwells with a contrite and lowly in heart. You are the one who created all the sun, moon, and stars, all of everything in the earth. You created every man. You created man in your image. You created male and female, in your image. And you said it was very good when you created man in your image. You said it was very good. Thank you for creating us. Thank you for allowing us to come to your mighty throne and to bow down before you, our merciful God, who gave his only begotten son, so we will not perish, but have everlasting life. Through King Yeshua, Lord Jesus Christ, God's only begotten son, Hallelujah. Glory, glory. We worship you forever and ever and ever. God, Jehovah, Father Almighty, everlasting Father, glory, glory be to your name. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was, who is, who is to come. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if God be with us and for us, who can be against us? Why should be, we be afraid of man when we have God on our side? Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Glory, glory to you, God Almighty. You are our Father, 
our Master Rabbi, our Lord of Sabaoth, our Lord of Hosts, the Prince of Peace, our glorious, mighty shield. You are our shield, our buckler. You are our high tower, our mighty fortress. You are our salvation, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for that. We thank you for dying for us, each one of us. We thank you for giving us the chance to accept you as our, our Lord and Savior and to live for you on this earth no matter what, no matter what comes our way. We will live for you, Lord Jesus. We will live for you, and we will never, never, never let you go, Lord Jesus. We glorify your holy name. Holy, holy, holy. Glory, glory, glory. Mighty is our God. Mighty is our God. Glorious is our God. Glory to you, O Lord God Almighty. Glory to you. Thank you for being the author and finisher of our faith. We love you. Thank you for your holy word. Sanctify them with thy truth. Thy word is truth. Thank you for allowing us to come and worship you, Father. Oh, how we adore you. How we love you. How we honor you. How we cherish you. How we worship you. How we praise you in our hearts forever and ever. We love you so much. We love you so much. We thank you for your messages tonight, Lord. Thank you for your messages to me, to your children. I pray for each and every person who views this video. I pray that you bless them, that you protect them and their families, and they are all brought to Jesus Christ. In your glorious name, Lord Jesus, amen. Amen. So I have two messages. I, I have one message that I received on July 11th. And then I have a message that I received uh, yesterday. Let me check that. July 17th. So it was actually two days ago. And it was when I was preparing for what I thought was coming up, a Bible study. So I started preparing for it. And then as I was writing my outline, I started writing what I thought, you know, that the Lord was giving me pointers to, to talk about in the video. But then I realized that King Yeshua just took over and he gave us another message. So I have two messages to give. I actually have a third message, but I I don't feel he wants me to release that message yet. So I'm going to start with this message. I'm going to read the next message. And then we'll see how the Lord wants to continue from there. Because this is not outlined. This is... Um, only what the Lord wants me to talk about. And it's going to be a. It's, it's going to be about. His righteous. In America. Hallelujah. So I received. Papa's message. On July 11th. And it was at 1136 p.m. Tell my children, hold on, be strong. I just want to check something. Let me start again. Tell my children, hold on. Let me fix the microphone. Be strong. I know the days seem long right now. I am Yeshua. Need I say any more? 
Some will consider this a chore. I am, says, do not ignore my signs. Which signs, my children ask? Follow me. I am the greatest teacher. I need you to go where you might not want. The devil will taunt, but do not be afraid of the mockers. My daughter knows this very well, for she abandons her own will for mine. I am Yahweh, and I say, how do you think of me? Some I lead down the road of few. Some they continue climbing the steepest of hills. Some seem a little too tough. Can you see my faithful? I am not unimaginative. Some will find my diamonds hidden in plain sight. But remember, for your heart must remain tender. I am love. I am hope. I am plans, the entire scope of your life. When you live your life obedient unto me, wonders and the miraculous is what you'll see. Children, you are not the judge, yet you decide to carry the smudge upon others. I tell you now, my prophets plow by my hand. It is my plan. They say what I am Yahweh tells them. They prophesy with such diligence. I have trained them myself, just as I taught Moses and my other faithful seers. They have been called directly by God Yahweh. Papa God Yahweh will provide for those who I have told to leave all. Wendy Lee answered my call. Many wonder, why doesn't God give me dreams and visions and allow me to be with him literally and allow me to see supernatural activities? Father tells you, my children, you have much purpose and I am no respecter of persons. I say, trust me, follow me. I have plans for your good. I cannot be understood. I would that you proclaim me with the gifts I have given you. Those who teach will be judged so much heavier. Yes, my children, there are weights and scales of my justice. Yeshua knows all hearts. You all have a part in my holy church. I am will never leave you in a lurch. I know your families are divided, for it is by my sword you live. Pray for peace in your family. Am I not the God of all possibilities? Go and produce good fruit, for the harvest is at hand. My band of choirs sing aloud. I come in a cloud. Yeshua, the Amen. And that is... Papa's message, Yeshua's message, and Holy Spirit's message. I will say this message is from the Holy Trinity. Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
glory to God. He is the God of all possibilities. Hallelujah. When we put our trust in Jesus, he is always, always, forever with us. Hallelujah. So as I was stating, I received a, 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 a surprise message. I wasn't, I, I wasn't told I was getting a message. I wasn't expecting to get a message. But as King Yeshua does very, very often, when I'm, when I'm writing an email, he will start taking over that email. Many of you know this. So this is, this is what he's done here, basically. I wasn't expecting it, and he gave us this message, me and you, you guys. And he says, to the broken, God has a message for you. I bind up the open wounds. I heal according to my father's perfect will. To my lonely and isolated children who worship me, your Lord Jesus. I know it is rough to stand up to your enemies. I, Lord Jesus, leads you. You are not to engage in every battle, for I will never let you get overwhelmed. Some I have fighting the wolves in the government. Some I have praying for America's repentance. Some I have placed where they didn't want to go. The Babylonian government continues to offer up my babies in the womb to their god, Melech. I will deliver and the devils will quiver. I have placed my soldiers in strategic positions. From every angle, I aim, A-I-M, and I never miss. My fire will burn up all the lies and deception. For my people have risen higher than they ever thought possible. I say it is full throttle now. The overturn is coming fast. But Father warns. Once I place Trump into the chair of the presidency, they will not listen to sound doctrine. The wolves, the Hanans, the ungodly men will try to get back in. America will enjoy the rights I have given them and not be censored from their speech. The dragon will be put down for a time. Rejoice, for I am in control. I am moves. And that is what he gave me. Unbeknownst to me, I have prayed over all of these messages and and please take these messages directly to our God and ask for discernment. Ask for um, anything that he wants you to get out of that besides the, the surface, the surface of the message. He may have something much deeper for you from this message, just like his holy word is. As you dive into his holy word, there are so many layers. It's face value, and it goes so much deeper than the face value. None of it's irrelevant, though. Face value is perfect, and however he goes deeper into it with you is perfect because the Holy Spirit leads us to all truth. Amen. Now, when 
uh, King Yeshua is talking about the Hamans. When he's talking about the Hamans and he mixes them in with the ungodly men and he mixes in them with the wolves. The Hamans, if you don't know, is in the book of Esther. And the Haman, well, it was one person named Haman. And he had 10, he was wicked. And he had 10 wicked sons. I think it's 10, nine or 10. And they were against the Jews. They were wanting to extinguish the Jews, the Jewish people. And so God turned it all around. And wicked Haman had created gallows for one of the Jewish men that he couldn't stand, that, that stood up against him. And it turns out God turned it all around and it ended up wicked Haman and all of his sons were hanged on the very same gallows that Haman had for one of God's Jewish men, uh, Mordecai, Mordecai. So it's a most riveting story. If you haven't read the book of Esther, please go check it out because it is amazing. You see God working in the background. And it is just an, a wonderful story. So I want to address you guys in the chat. Uh, thank you for coming. Hello to, I said hello to you, Priscilla. Thank you for coming. Hello to O Senor. Christine S. Narcisio Zeferino. I apologize if I'm getting your name mispronounced. Rebecca Santa Fe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And during this video, at some point, I'm also going to pray. I'm going to pray for the, the Cuban people to be delivered because they are going through. Uh, they, they are trying to be freed from communism. And so if you guys will pray with me when I begin to pray and we're going to pray for the beautiful Cuban people who have been kept up in communism for a long time now. And then we're going to pray that God frees them. We're going to pray that short of God sending Lord Jesus in the Old Testament, God would raise up people to free his Israelites from captivity. So we're going to pray that God will raise up a deliverer for the Cuban people. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for America to become righteous again. We're going to pray against the enemy. We're going to pray against his plans. We're going to declare things. So that's coming up. What does the Lord want to talk about? Um, the righteous rising up. The Lord has, has had me looking at, and, and he's putting a fire in me about fighting back against this evil that's in trying to invade America. It has not invaded America, and it will not completely invade America. We don't know how far God is going to allow this, that he is waking people up. He is waking his church up. You can see this. If you go to, um, if, if you watch certain people in their sites, you can see that Christians are waking up to this tyranny, to this treason that's in the White House. The White House is not supposed to control everything. 
but it seems like everything is being controlled from the White House. Authoritarianism. And we are free people here in America. America is a land of the land of the free, home of the brave. And we proudly say the national anthem and we say the Pledge of Allegiance, one nation under God. The Supreme Court and all of those buildings have been built upon Judeo-Christian values. And yet the enemy is trying to erase everything. Well, he's not going to succeed, glory to God. The enemy will fall. Now, we know that Jesus Christ has already defeated the enemy. He has crushed the devil's head forever. But we are involved in battles while we live on this earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are in battles. We are supposed to be the salt of the earth. And we're supposed to have our light shine to, to men. Let our light so shine before men is what the Bible says. We need to let our light so shine before men. We need to not be afraid. We need to ask the Lord to strengthen our faith. We need to rise up. And, and, and. As you're praying, you're asking the Lord, Lord, wh what should I do? Where should I go? What should I say? And and I've been researching this. And the, and the main thing for us to do is to get involved in our local government. The local government. The Lord is working from the lower, from the middle, from the high. He's, he's coming from all fronts. He's got people stationed. His soldiers are stationed on every front that we are facing. And you need to find out where you, soldier of the Lord, where he wants you to go. Because it is time for us to wake up and realize that we do need to be involved in every part of the government. Yes, we do. Because can we not see how the government is trying to control every part of our lives? Can we not see how the government is trying to censor our speech? Just cancel us completely. Can we not see how the government is trying to Make us do things because they say it's for our good. It's for the good of everybody. That's not individualism. That is not what America is based on. That is called socialism going into communism. Totality reign. That is what they want. And they are not going to get it. This is not the time of the enemy. Papa keeps saying this over and over again. This is not the time of the enemy. We Christians will take America back. Hallelujah. We will take America back. And we will push and push and push that wretched enemy back. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They're trying to indoctrinate our children. They're pushing this perverted, immoral, ungodly stuff to our children in the schools as young as kindergarten, maybe even younger than that. We need to realize, and, and let me tell you, this is not Wendy's thoughts. This is coming from many people. God has exposed what is being taught in the schools, amen, from COVID, because he uses everything for our good, 
even the bad he uses for our good. He has used COVID to expose things. And he has exposed to the parents because they ki their kids had to take the classes online and the parents were there and they realized what garbage they are teaching our children. Amen. So we can no longer sit on the sidelines. This is our battle unto the Lord. And when I say battle, of course, I'm not talking about violence. I'm talking about the proper way of fighting back in America, and that is getting involved at your local level, attending meetings, government meetings, and making our voices known and heard. Because we have an encroaching government and and this this is is not looking good at all but what we see no matter what we see just know that jesus has already beat the enemy just know that our lord jesus is in control he's in control of everything nothing is surprising him that's happening and he has a mighty plan because this is his great harvest and I'll tell you it's nothing the way I thought that it would happen this is this is not the way Wendy thought anything would happen I thought that once things started tumbling downward I would be shouting hallelujah because the Lord was coming for his bride. Well, the Lord is still coming for his bride, y'all, but it's not the way we thought. This is not the way we thought. Many people have said, I'm just going to wait. Um, the, the first sign of trouble, the Lord's coming for us, including me. But we found out we need to act and preserve this country. Because this is not going to be the way we all thought. And while we're here, we need to be about the Father's business. What is the Father's business? To shine our lights before men. To be the salt of the earth. To to tell people the good news that Jesus died, was buried for three days, and he rose again from the dead. And glory to God, once they put their trust into Jesus, they will be with him forever. That is what we need to say to to let people know. And we need to get involved. As the Lord said in his message, he says he has some fighting wolves in the government. He has, to, he has some people praying for America's repentance. So he may have you being a prayer warrior. And that is a difficult job. Doesn't matter where he's putting you, you're in the battle. And he says, some I have placed where they didn't want to go. If he has placed you where you didn't want to go, put your complete trust in him. He has a plan and you have a purpose in his plan. Glory to God. We all have a purpose. And we need to find out if we don't know already. You'll feel the fire if he's putting it in you. You'll feel that fire. 
because I don't know about you guys, but I want my children and grandchildren to remain free in a free country that I grew up in, that you guys grew up in, the country that we all know. In all those years when Papa was talking about, uh, you know, judgment coming and I'm, I'm guessing 2019, 2018, 2019, he was saying the enemy is within. He, he was saying that we have allowed the enemy to come into our borders. The enemy is within. I can't think of exactly how he said it, but he was telling us America has been invaded. Can you not see it? Those who are in the government who want communist ways. There is so much deceit. And let me tell you something else. They are so hypocritical that they want everyone coming through the border. Right. They want all people to come through our border illegally. But yet the Cuban people, the Cuban people who are revolting against the wicked communist government, Biden will not allow them to come over here. How wicked and evil is that? Because they have an agenda. All they care about is getting a geographic voting. In other words, when, when the illegals come over, they're going to give them all the benefits and everything. And they're going to say, don't forget who gave you these benefits. The Democrats. When you vote, you vote Democrat. You can say, okay, Wendy, you, you've gone too far now. You can think that you have your opinion. This is what the Lord is putting a fire in me. I see it. He has really woken me up. Because I said, I was like, I was just waiting for the first real big thing to happen. And then, and then the Lord would come for us. In however way he wants to, whether we're all transitioned here on earth, whether he he raises us to heaven, whether he sends us to a teaching camp, we don't know. But I thought that we would be on that journey when America started falling, right? But we're not. We're still here. And we are meant to fight here. We are meant to go to battle for our America. This is God's America. Why? Because God has a remnant here in America. And he's not going to let America be destroyed with his remnant here. Now, after he comes and takes his remnant. After he comes and rescues his people. That have lived for him, given him their entire lives here on earth. We call it the great tribulation, I guess, in Revelation. Then America will be destroyed as Babylon America. But it's not that time. It's time for us to fight. Somehow, this is part of his great harvest. There are so many lost souls out here in the world. And they, whether they are doing it on purpose, whether they're doing it ignorantly, they don't know what God says in his word or they don't want to listen to it. Because they've heard this from this person this or this from this church, this from this church. And let me tell you, even churches now, 
have the wolves in sheep's clothing. Even some churches are teaching ungodly doctrines. They're teaching that homosexuality is accepted when God teaches in his Bible that it's an abomination. That hasn't changed. Just because we have a wicked culture that believes this and that and this and that does not mean that God's word has changed to, to accommodate that. God's word never changes. Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. His word, Jesus, is the word. Will never change. His word remains forever. And there is no changing his word, whether someone doesn't like it or not. There's no changing his word. Hallelujah. John 17, 17. Sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. Glory to our God. And I'm praying, I'm praying, praying, praying that my granddaughter will never set foot into a public school unless public schools go for Jesus Christ. And I know you're praying the same for your children and grandchildren as well. Because they're teaching our children pure filth, pure filth. No wonder we have so many confused children and teenagers. They don't know what's what. All they know is they've been what they've been taught. And in the school, what they've been taught, how can you not trust your teacher? Well, my teacher says this. So it must be true. The wicked has infiltrated, infiltrated our schools, our government, our ways of life, our Christian ways of life, the nuclear family, the mom, the dad, and the children. The enemy has invaded. And, and, the, and the children of Jesus are not going to sit back. Because I don't know if you if you notice this or not, but there is an uprise. There is an uprise. The, the mainstream media does not let it out. But God has ways and he has uh, so many, many, many people on different platforms now that are working for him, that are fighting for America's freedom. And they are really sticking their necks out. And, and they are fighting. They are fighting. And we are in the largest, the biggest, the greatest fight of our life that we have ever seen, that we have ever witnessed. So, wowee. Okay. I guess that's what the Lord wanted me to talk about. Let me see what you guys are saying. Welcome from Brazil. Welcome for every for everyone here. Well, we're, whatever whatever nation you're from, whether you're from America or from a different nation, welcome. And we pray for your nations that your nation is blessed and free and follows the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to you, Father Abba. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father. Okay. Hi, Brother Ken. Hi, Sister Nell. Hi, Sister Jeanette. Hi, 
Hallelujah. Thank you all for coming. And so now is a spiritual warfare prayers. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to fight the enemy through prayer? We come against you, you evil, wicked enemy, and all your plans in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against every plan you have in our government and every level of our government. We rebuke you and we cast you out of our government in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against you, devil, in the mighty name of Jesus. Get out of our schools. Leave our children alone. We command this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus will have his way. You will never have your way, devil. And we rebuke you and we cast you out. We cast you out of the schools. We cast out your, your vile, perverted, evil plans, evil schemes, evil doctrines. Leave our children alone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we command you to take your hands off of every baby in the womb here in America in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We, we come against every state that has abortion. We come against every law that has abortion. We come against every one that works in these abortion, abominable things to destroy the babies. We come against every one of them. And Lord Jesus, I pray that every person that is in the abortion industry, that you will lighten their eyes and that they will come to you and open their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the warriors who are in you, who are in the government that you have placed there. Give them strength and give them your backbone, for you are their backbone. Give them wisdom. Give them wisdom on what you want them to do. And I pray that you will confuse the counsel of the enemy. You will divide the camp of the enemy. And when the enemy is divided, enemy cannot stand. We thank you and we praise you, Lord Jesus, that you have crushed the devil's head at Calvary. And we thank you for the, the opportunity to work in your army. And we ask that you send us, your soldiers, out to the fields where you want us to go and that we are willing and that we give you our free will completely. Lord, lead us. Lead us into the battle. Lead us to our positions. Lead us to our battle stations. We are rising up, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name. We are rising up. And we ask that you protect the babies in the womb. We ask that you protect the children's eyes and ears and their hearts and their minds from the wicked, evil plans, schemes of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are ready, Lord Jesus, send us out into battle. Wherever you want us to go, send us out. Whether you want us to stay in our homes praying as prayer warriors, send us out to our battle stations, Lord Jesus. Because we will fight for righteousness to come back to America, for Judeo-Christian values to come back to America, for prayer to come back into the schools here in America, in every school, in every school. 
the public school arena, every one of them, prayer, prayer, prayer will come back into the schools in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone who is listening to this video and who is praying in agreement with me. Build them up, Lord. Build them up in your holy word. Build them up in your holy strength. Build them up in your holy faith that you give them. Give them your warrior strength. Your warrior bride. We're ready. Send us out, O oh Lord, your warrior bride. Give us your mighty wisdom. We ask for it in faith, nothing wavering. Give us your wisdom, Lord Jesus. Give us your wisdom. Lead us to all truth, beautiful Holy Spirit. Lead us and guide us with thine eye. And straighten out our, our crooked paths. And please keep us repentant. As we go out into your field and preach your good news, as we let as as we let, let our light shine before men, we ask that you give us the strength and the ability to reach the lost, to preach with grace and with salt, and to be able to answer every man. We thank you for all these things, Lord Jesus. We thank you for giving us the power and the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. You are awesome, and you are the one and only true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the living and not the God of the dead. And we praise your holy and mighty name. And please bless everyone here. Bless the evening that they're going to have. Bless their children. Bless their grandchildren. Please keep them all protected under your mighty wings. And may we all dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I pray all of this. Glory be to your holy and mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All righty. Thank you for praying with me, guys. This is a mighty battle that we are in. And don't let the enemy tell you that the Christians should not be involved in what happens in the government. Because, as I said, the government affects our lives. So we have the right to get involved. Hallelujah. With that, I'm going to bid you guys adieu and may King Yeshua's beautiful face shine upon every one of you and give you strength give you strength for this battle and King Yeshua wins glory be King Yeshua Lord Jesus Christ wins always as he said in his message he aims and he never misses just like David aimed for Goliath and the Lord sent that stone right into his forehead and it killed Goliath. We are facing Goliath. And we are telling the enemy, who is this Philistine, this uncircumcised Philistine going against the armies of God? Hallelujah. May everyone have a wonderful night or day whenever you view this. Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and Shalom.